So in this short intro, we'll look at what the internal assessment is, how it is marked, how the Paper Planes IA Guide can help you achieve the mark you want, and finish up with some basic information about the IA. I will also be giving some useful tips throughout the video. So let's have a quick look at what the IA is and what is your aim during this task. The internal assessment is basically an open-ended scientific investigation. Your aims are to formulate a research question, to gather data, to analyze this data, and to answer the research question. This is about it, and even though it takes time to write a good IA, my tip here, and probably most important suggestion for the entire IA process, is to keep things as simple as possible. Part of this suggestion is for you to carry out a physical hands-on experiment to gather data, and this is what most people do in their IA. If you prefer, you can also work with an online simulator or get your data from a database. Your final product will be a written report, and the Paper Planes IA Guide walks you through step-by-step step of how to write this report. Before going into more details of what this guide offers, let's take a quick look at how the IA is marked. Maybe I'll start by saying that the marking of the IA in SL and HL is exactly the same. I know that many students think that in HL they need to do more complicated physics, whatever this might mean, but let me just say it again that this is not true. The misunderstanding here might come from math, where some of the criteria are slightly different for SL and HL. You probably already know that the IA is 20% of your final grade. The remaining 80% comes from your exams. So my key tip here is that the IA is your chance to establish a strong base for your final grade. There's no exam pressure or stress when you're working on your IA, and if you put in the time, the energy, and follow some guidelines, I can almost guarantee that you will end up with a high grade. The IA is assessed based on four criteria, each with six marks, so the maximum mark on your IA is 24. The criteria are research design, data analysis, conclusion, and evaluation. The Paper Planes IA Guide is basically built around breaking down and exploring these four criteria in detail. So let's see how this guide can help you achieve the mark you want. Instead of writing about it, let me just give you a quick tour of the guide. This is our internal assessment main page, and right now you're watching the video that is behind the following tab. If you're watching, for example, on YouTube, feel free to open the Paper Planes website and enter the internal assessment guide. The guide has six key steps, and you can see these six steps if you scroll down a bit. Let's see what we have, for example, behind the research design tab. First, you have a clear list of specific goals that you will have completed by the end of this step. This is followed by short, concise videos that tell you exactly how to achieve these goals. Scrolling further down, you will find a checklist that will help you ensure that you completed everything before moving on to the next step. The checklist sections, so for example the context and the research question, are directly connected to the videos above. After you have gone through the checklist, you can find the time to sit down with your teacher and ask them the specific questions about your work that we provided here. These questions are also grouped based on the videos above. When you're finally done with a certain step, you can move on to the next one, or go back to the previous one if you need to. All six steps in the guide have the same structure. So now that you know what the IA guide is about, we'll finish this video with some basic but important information about the IA. An important one to start with is the 3000 word limit. Keep in mind that in the word count, the headers, the data tables, charts and diagrams, the calculations and formulae, the references and citations, and the bibliography are not included. Here is what you need to include at the beginning of your report. If some of it is not clear, just ask your teacher or DP coordinator. So the things to include are the title, the word count, your IB candidate code, and the candidate code for all group members where applicable. Finally, there's no need to include a cover page or a contents page. So if you're not ready to begin your IA work, just scroll down and hit the Getting Started button.